Hey, I see you. Give me, give me the pudding. It's so good. Give me the pudding. It's so good. You give me the pudding. No, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. Yeah. here for the second time for food and wine. We decided that last time we were here, we made our first vlog, and we didn't really get to try everything that we wanted. So we're just gonna do a quick little vlog going back and trying some of the food that we wanted to try when we could not do that before. So come along with us on this adventure. So last time we came to food and wine, I was forced to skip out on a Starbucks. But today, I have my partner in crime who decided that Starbucks was a good idea today. So I got my first pumpkin spice latte of the season because it is below uh, 90 degrees today. It's only like 80, which is great. Um, so that's fall, right, to Floridians. That is definitely a fall weather we have going on here. We finally got our cute picture with this cute backdrop. I'm so excited. I love you, Minnie, in your hot air balloon. Okay, so we decided that we really wanted to try the gyro at Greece. So we are here at the Greek uh, little stand here. So we are so excited. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. It has chicken, lettuce, some of that tzatziki sauce that's made with oikos Greek yogurt, onions, tomatoes, etc. So now we're gonna try it. Okay, so I don't know how to eat this. I'm a wimp. I don't wanna bite that like giant. I need a fork. No, no, you just gotta, you just gotta man versus food it. I can't. You got There's to. There's too much stuff in one area. Okay, I'm gonna try to bite this whole thing. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's so good. I have way too much sauce on here. It is a lot. It is oh, a my, lot. Oh my goodness! Look at all that. But it's still really good. Yeah, I suggest it for sure. Maybe not. Top five. It's pretty good. It is really not good. Not a top five though. No, yeah, top five. Okay, all yeah. right. Sweet. Top five. All right, there you go. Good, good one, Greece. Okay, so we actually ended up at Canada because we saw this really awesome menu item. Oh, look at it! It's so cute. So this is actually um, the Le Cellier which is the restaurant um, in Canada. The wild mushroom beef filet mignon um, with some kind of sauce on it, which is awesome. We weren't gonna get it, but then in the spirit of treat yourself, we decided to get it because both of us really like steak. So we're gonna let you know how it is. All right, so Zach is gonna try this thing, this beautiful little cutlet that we got. You can have all the mushrooms. How is it? Good. Let's see how it's cooked. Okay, okay like so a well it's, done. yeah, it's like well done. Uh, like I mean, even the well done. The sauce is really good. It's like garlicky, a little tart. But like garlicky, awesome. Okay, so I just tried the um, filet mignon, the Le Cellier filet mignon. It was actually really good. I really like my steak to be almost rare, like medium rare. Um, but for well done, it's actually really good, really flavorful. It's not tough or chewy, which is awesome. Um, and it does not taste like it's been kept in a warmer. It tastes really fresh. Even the mushrooms, I am not a fan of mushrooms, but I definitely would eat those mushrooms um, if they were sauteed and grilled like this. I make those mushrooms like that all the time. You never eat them. Yes, I do. Smoke Gouda professional here. Okay, so in our last vlog, we talked about the crowd of Food and Wine Festival, and today it is absolutely beautiful outside, number one, but number two, it's not as crowded, which is awesome. Yeah. See, before it was just like packed. And again, we kind of went opening week, weekend, so that was our own fault. Um, but again, it just seems so much better to come um, now. So in the middle of the festival, like I said in my last vlog, middle towards the end is probably the best time to come. Okay, so now we're in Ireland, which is awesome. We really wanted to come here last time, but the line was so long, and today was great. Yeah. So we got the Irish pudding. Um, which is some sort of chocolate pudding with some Irish cream liqueur uh, custard sauce. And this is actually gluten free, so if you are gluten free, this is something you can eat. So, yay! So, Amelia has locked herself in the phone booth and won't share the pudding. Amelia! Amelia, come out, I see you! Hey! I see you! Give me. Give me the pudding. It's so good. Give me the pudding. It's so good. You give me the pudding. No, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so good. Yeah? It's like a lava cake, but 
Nothing's I... oozing out. It, it, it's like... Yeah, I don't know. It's so good. It's I hate this word, but it's so moist. I love you. I love this. <laughs> Favorite? Oh yeah, this is top five. Like top, top five three. for sure. Top like, maybe three. Maybe number one. Maybe number one. Wow, look at that. What is that like um, icing is a, or what is that? An Irish cream custard. Ooh, custard. Yeah, look at it. Mm, that looks so good. It's not stuffed with anything? No, well, it's kind of stuffed. Like, it's like the whole thing is like the pudding. So, but it's like a cake. But, um, you know, pudding's like, it's kind of like jello y. That's consist what they call it. It's oh, a pudding. Yeah, it's like well, a bread pudding. Oh, a bread pudding. Like bread pudding. Nice. Yeah, it has the consistency. All right, well, now it's that amazing. you're out, I'm going to take some ice. No, it's mine. <laughs> All right, Zach's gonna taste it. I might not get it back. It's good, right? The custard's really good. Really good, I know. Really good. Okay, Zach, can what what would you describe this like the consistency? How is it like? So, the edge of it is very like not very, but it's nice and crisp. And yes, uh, inside is very soft, so you get the best of both worlds, and they really mix well together. And it's the perfect temperature. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's like a nice. Lukewarm, so it warms the pudding up, makes the edge nice and crispy, and then the sauce is just melted over it, so you just melt it inside. Okay, so we just found this huge um, food and wine poster. So if you guys come to the back here, I'll show you how big it is. Um, it's at the back of World Showcase. Look how big it is! So it makes really good backdrops for photos, in case you wanted to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Yeah. Okay, so in hopes of showing you guys some of the merchandise, we are visiting the festival shop. And the first thing you see when you come out is this cute little tray. Uh, if you wanted to walk around with your little cup of wine or your food, um, you could carry it and kind of hold it on the way, which is pretty cool. Taste your way around the world. The t-shirt this year is super cool. Um, I really like it. It kind of has all of the little countries around the circle. And then it also has all the names of pavilions and then the year that they were introduced on there. Like a little cooler bag. Of course, this is a plastic wine cup. Uh, this is not plastic. Toothpick holder. Some mugs. Oh, and they even have the little trash can. This little salt and pepper shaker trash can. So if you collect the Disney trash can salt and pepper shakers, they have one for Food and Wine Festival. They have some coasters. There's another t-shirt design and another t-shirt design. This one's kind of um, girlier t-shirt. And then you have the Figment merchandise. So Figment as a little chef is I guess the little uh, mascot this year for food and wine. So you've got the pin. This is the actual official limited release food and wine pin. There we go. Of course the little shirts. You have a poster with Figment, etc. Zach always finds the cute plush. Chef Mickey! Hi Mickey! I like his like faded coloring. Yeah, and I like that he's brown. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of chocolate. Mickey the Chocolatier. Oh, and it has 2016 on his little bandana. So cute. Okay, so I've never seen this before. You might know if they've had this last year or not, but this is actually a gift card that you can just put on your wrist like so. Okay, so it fits on your wrist like this, and you kind of just carry it around all night, um, so you don't have to pull anything out of your pocket, which is awesome. So I guess you just come in and load it when you get here at one of the festival centers, um, and you just hold it on your wrist all night. Okay, another thing in the merchandise section that they have is they have the rinse and rinse bath and body ink. Um, these are homemade products that they have, and it's super cool. I'm pretty sure they have these out for flower and garden too. But you have all this stuff out here, which is really cute. Um, but that's interesting. Beard soap. Great for shaving. Oh, she says it's great for shaving. So cool. Okay, so here are some more food and wine pins. Um, there's of course the one with the Figma we showed you. They have. Yzma and Kronk. They have Donald. Here's the Donald Duck one. It has the three caballeros. And it folds back up. And then they also have Anna and Elsa. So cute. All right, so that is pretty much going to end our adventure for today. Today's a really quick vlog. Well, uh, I actually, I actually want you to uh, meet one of our friends. He's meeting up with us, um, and he's 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 a really great guy. <laughs> Bought a Mickey. So cute. How could you not buy him? Oh my god, that was so cute. This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, well, 
Again, make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, leave your favorite food and wine dish in the comment sections right down there. Chef Mickey wants you to leave it. Or just write the pudding from Ireland because we all know it's your favorite. We all know the pudding That's from Ireland ours. is the favorite. Yes. Um, but again, we really just wanted to try those couple of items. Kit and Kit and Mickey. Um, so thanks again for watching. Again, please like and subscribe to our videos. Um, leave again your favorite dish in the comment section. And make sure to follow us on Instagram at Magical Everybody. Please stay magical.